Hello everybody, this is Sergio Explains. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Sergio Explains. And today I want to talk about this special release set from Arbeg called Monsters of Smoke. And <laughs> this is such a beautiful presentation. This came out for Halloween this year, 2021. And I just love the presentation. This this is definitely, Arbeg is definitely one of my favorite brands of whiskey. I have Arbeg all the time and I enjoy it every single time, the different uh, expressions of it. Uh, this particular set is something a little bit different though. It comes with three, like you can see here, three little bottles, but they're not the mini bottles. These are um, 200 milliliter bottles. And so it's a, it's a, a size that most people don't usually buy. You know, most people buy the full size bottle like here. Uh, and these come in 750 milliliters or 70 centiliters. So three of these, which are 200 milliliters each, all together do not add up to one bottle. And this comes into play when it comes to price because the price of this set is uh, about the price of the Anoa bottle, uh, which is the best and most expensive of the three expressions here. So if you put it that way, economically, eh, you know, you're like, why would I buy 600 milliliters when I can get 700 of the best here instead of 200, 200, 200, you know? So that's a good argument, but <laughs> let's not talk about economics here. This is a wonderful, wonderful set. One of the best things about this set is that they didn't make it uh, a very limited release. As far as I know, they are making thousands and thousands of these. They are available all over the world uh, here in the United States. I know they are for, for sale in, in Europe, in Australia, and in other places. So uh, this is, uh, uh, to start with, it is a collectible, but it's not one of those collectibles that you're like, oh, it will be so rare, rare, I will treasure it, and it will increase in value or something like that. I don't think that this is going to increase so much in value because they're making so many of them. So by not being a limited release, once again, economically speaking, this is not the best purchase or investment if you're looking at it that way. On the other hand, it is a wonderful set for drinking, uh, for tasting, and just for enjoying it for yourself. And if you want to collect it for yourself, I'm probably going to collect it for myself because I love collecting, but not for thinking, oh, it's going to increase in value and this and that. I'm not, I'm not playing that kind of game. I want to keep it because I love it so much, but it's not a rare uh, edition. Now, if you look at this, it's called Monsters of Smoke, and it, it has like, probably like some monsters scratched off the front here, and you have little people running and looking back like this, the monster's going to catch me. And uh, on every side, you look at it, you have something wonderful. Look at the lettering here. This is like, uh, I'm not sure, how, the letters are raised and they are shiny. Uh, they are not just like the rest of the background. The background is not shiny and the letters are, are shiny. The same here. You know, and this, look at the little people there <laughs> going Arbeg and, and the scratches from the monster. And see how that looks there. You can see the reflection of the light on it. It has like a matte uh, background, but the bottles and the accents and the letters are shiny. And I was just looking at these. And I was like, this is 
definitely retro. It has a special retro look. What does this remind me of? And I had to think and think and I'm like, this is something I can't put my foot... And I'm like, yes, I know what it is because I, in addition to collecting whiskey, I collect vintage, and let me put them side by side, vintage VHS sets. And I went to my collection of VHS sets and look what I found right here in my Flash Gordon. And uh, I'm, give me a second, I will show you this. And one, there are so many parallels here that this is just not even close to being a coincidence. I'm sure the marketing people at Arbeg looked at Flash Gordon uh, sets like this and they they copy it. Look at the colors. Just the green and the red and the lettering. Look at the lettering on both of them in red. And when you open the, uh, another coincidence is three bottles, three videos. Yeah. Uh, and when you open these, look at the drawings of the or photos or pictures of the little people in them that are similar to what we have for example here and this is so great look at look at the letters flash gordon and trip to mars and the people like how he's carrying the woman here in this image and the letters here compare the letters to these letters you know <laughs> this is right right out copying is like cheating in school or something but i i just think it's a great idea that they did it because i love this so much and now i love i love the arbeg even better and let me see if i can put these back the three of them make the front of this picture all three sides make this picture with the letters there they i don't think they did that here but uh, they did something that went beyond that with the little bottles because these came out for Halloween and the marketing people at Arbeg are just absolutely awesome. They do everything that I like and, and even better. So in addition to the whiskey and the, I love the whiskey all of them. If you have not tried these they or all of them, they are uh, single malt scotch whiskies from the uh, islands from Isla and um, they are peated and when we say peated it means they're very smoky uh, they are usually these kind of whiskies are the ones that contribute uh, a little bit of smokiness to blended whiskies so if you're having a blended whiskey let's say Johnny Walker or Dewar's, for example, and you feel some, a little bit of smokiness, it's because they add some island whiskeys. And this is the island whiskey, but this is the whole thing. This is a lot of smoke. These are the monsters of smoke. And so here you have, let's start with the 10, the 10 year old, um, in addition to, to having a beautiful also uh, label in the back, each one of them has a beautiful label in the back telling you about it. Uh, all three are different ones. Here you go. In addition to that, what they did was, uh, for, for each of them, if you can see here, this little red part of the label says feel and peel and reveal, peel and reveal. And so when you peel this, and I took a photo earlier so that I could show it better to you. So the, here you go, look at the picture. When you peel this, it says, for the 10 year old, it says the original giant. And look, what, you peel this label and you reveal that other label under this label and then you can put it back in, back on top of it like i did here and the same thing happens 
with the wee beastie that's the five-year-old if you peel this label uh the this one right here i'm showing you the photo now it says a monster of a dram uh, look at the drawings there look at that presentation it is absolutely awesome and for the last one uh the anoa this is the actual label of the anoa but when you peel this you get, uh, look at the photo I took earlier, uh, you get this other label underneath it that says a web of flavor notes. And I don't know, I just love this brand in general. I love the whiskey, I enjoy it all the time. I even have the Capitas here for Arbeg and this was just absolutely wonderful. And so if you see it, um, I totally recommend you buying this for tasting, if you have not tasted these before, and for collecting it for yourself, just because it is so wonderful. And if you don't have a set of VHS Flash Gordon, then let me show it to you once again. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. So, uh, thank you for watching my videos. I am Sergio Explains. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.